2402 re lecture reproduction le uh, screencast number seven and the last one and I'll cover disorders and uh, some development so here's some things that can go wrong with your reproductive system uh, prostate cancer in males uh, is a problem uh, you know almost 20 percent of males will get it and uh, it causes quite a few deaths uh, you should get screened for that. It does require somebody putting a finger in your butt, but uh, I've had it done. It's no big deal. Cervical cancer, females. Uh, this is not a good survival rate there, so it's good to avoid. Uh, there are vaccines, which you get as a child, which prevent you from acquiring this virus. You might say, well, what would a, a papilloma virus, which causes warts, be related to cancer? Well, because turns out those warts are an irritant and they're going to cause mutations which can turn into cancer. Uh, so you should get screened for that stuff as well. And if you're having kids, I recommend vaccines, boys and girls, because uh, guys can get uh, genital warts too. Anyway, uh, breast cancer, generally females, not exclusively, but generally females. And one out of eight women are going to get it. That's scary, right? Um, it's got a really good survival rate uh, and you can detect it early if you are self-aware. So you should be doing, even at a young age, you should be doing self-examination uh, for lumps in your breasts and then you can get a medical test called a mammogram where they uh, use some sort of, I don't know what they use, is it x-rays? I don't know. Whatever sort of thing they look through the surface to uh, to get a look and they can see these cystic masses, these these fibrous masses that may be cancer. Uh, these are diseases that you catch from other people, not uh, these three right here aren't. So uh, chlamydia and gonorrhea, those are both bacterial and you can cure them, you know, now, right? We've got antibiotics that get rid of that stuff. Back in the day, this stuff would, you'd have it for your life and it wouldn't be an enjoyable bunch of years. Uh, syphilis is another bacterial one which is really dangerous if it's left untreated. It can go asymptomatic for a long period of time. You can treat it with antibiotics, so it's not you know, that bad, but you got to detect it. You got to know you have it. And uh, some famous people had it. Uh, uh, Al Capone probably died from it in prison. And I forget who else. Look it up. Uh, you don't have to know that, though. Uh, trichomoniasis, big word. Uh, very common. Because by now, this is a protozoan. So a protozoan is like, you know, a one-celled eukaryotic organism. Causing, it, the symptoms are kind of discomfort. But you can treat it. Viral infections. Uh, these are transmissible. Uh, so human papilloma virus, as previously mentioned. This is the one that causes genital warts. You can give that to somebody else. And genital herpes is uh, another transmissible uh, virus that is very often symptom free. So you could have it and 85% chance you don't know you have it. The, it can't be cured, but it doesn't crop up very often and the symptoms aren't that uh, severe. It is the same type of virus that, you, that causes chickenpox and shingles. So these are actually herpes viruses too. They're different. Uh, uh, strain. Now, changing gears here rather dramatically to talk about some aspects of development, just two. I'm not going to talk about fetal development. That's That was too big of a mountain to climb, but let's talk about development when you're a little kid becoming an adult. So this is called puberty, and this occurs somewhere in the, you know, tweens, I guess, to teens, depending on the person and the sex. And uh, in males, you kind of, your testes and your penis get larger and you start producing mature sperm cells and uh, semen. And it can be a confusing time for a young boy. Anyway, because of these things, you know. Females uh, can start out a little bit earlier and they'll get breast development and eventually uh, ovulation and fertility will follow. Then you keep on keeping on both sexes keep producing their normal cells and doing stuff for decades. Uh, males will kind of, you know, 
<laughs> kind of peter out at the end, no pun intended. And uh, but you know, males produce sperm cells really effectively their their entire life. Females uh, experience what's called menopause, and I used to think you know this is not it doesn't seem fair, right? But uh, I don't think that many 50, 60 year old women really would want to have kids. And in you know pre modern medical technology times, you definitely would want to have kids. It's a it's a potentially uh, dangerous, uh, activity, you know, giving birth, carrying a kid taxes, your energy. Um, and then the actual birth process itself. And then not to mention taking care of the kid. So menopause is really kind of this neat evolutionary trick that mammals, the humans in a case have that prevents you from producing offspring at a time when it would be very dangerous for you to do so. If grandma, and also, you know, if grandma has a, dies from childbirth, she's not around to help you with your kids, right? So grandma helping her grandkids is actually being reproductive, you know, evolutionarily uh, smart because she's still taking care of her relatives, right? So don't think of it as negative. Think of it as kind of a positive. And that's easy for me to say being a male that's not been through menopause. So... Uh, I'm sure it's not a, a, a ton of fun, but uh, hormone replacement therapy can help with some of the side effects of the lack of uh, estrogen produ production and the uh, associated uh, side effects of that. All right, that's it. Reproductive system. That was a lot. Thanks a bunch.